We're back out here on the Mississippi Acres map, and today we're going to be going after quail and raccoons. All right, guys, I think we found where the quail are at. They just called right in front of us here. So I think we're just going to kind of sneak over there, you know, a normal pace, and hopefully they flush. Okay, I see one jumped up way over there. One quail? That was it. One quail. Well, we can't find any quail, but we got a raccoon right there. And we have the 22 hornet on us, I believe. Yes, we do right there. 100 yards out. Let's see if we can't make a good shot here, guys. Where is she going? Got her right in the back of the neck. All right, we took the shot right here. Non-vital hit. That's not bad. And then she ran over here. Some more blood right there. And here he is down right over here. It's actually a female and a brown. Oh, that's not bad. We ended up getting... I don't know what is up with us and almost getting a heart shot like every single day so far. Look at that shot. I mean, in all honesty. <laughs> A 22 Hornet is supposed to be stronger than a 17 HMR. And if I took that shot with my 17 HMR, that thing's going through both shoulders. It's going to hit both lungs and the heart. And we barely touched the right lung there. It was an incredible shot. You really couldn't get much better than that. But at least we got ourselves a raccoon down. Oh, there we go. That's a big old level seven gray fox out there. He's a little bit too far though. He's about 180. Now this 22 Hornet doesn't really do that well at past like 140 yards. And actually I'll kind of show you right now. I really don't want to do this, but whoa, where are you going there? I mean, <laughs> it was perfect. Should have just dusted him. But as you can see, he's acting pretty much untouched. Oh, hello. I was just about to finish off that fox that we just took a shot at and I found a giant mythical out here, guys. He's bigger than the one that we just got. A big seven, yeah. But now we got a giant mythical. This time, we cannot mess up this shot. Smoked him, come on. Yes, we got him. All right, so we made an awesome shot on that giant gray fox there. But the other fox, I do believe, went... He still didn't go down. It's kind of funny because I was about to finish him off with the 30 odd six. I just saw him out there running around. He was at 0%. And I was about to shoot. And then all of a sudden, this huge mythical stepped out right in front of our crosshairs. So I decided to hold off. And of course, we went for the big mythical. But we switched out back to the 22 Hornet. So that shot there was about 150 but as you saw before, the uh, last fox that we just took a shot at right before that mythical was about 180 and it was too far. All we got was a flesh hit. I'll show you once we get him here. I don't think he's going to go down just yet, but I'm going to go get him and you'll be able to see that we hit him right in the chest and it probably would have went right into the lung. So I'll show you that in one second here. All right, guys, let's go have a look at our giant mythical gray fox. I think we'll probably get him mounted because he's pretty massive. That's not a quail. That's a turkey. We might go for him as well. But here he is. Let's have a look at him. And uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to take a picture. He kind of looks like a flying squirrel with the position that he's in right there. Kind of interesting, but... Alright, that'll be good for now. And let's pick him up. It's going to be a 6.10 gold. Oh my God. Yeah, he was pretty close to a diamond. 6.4 is diamond and he scored 6.10. We pulled off a perfect shot there. Left lung at 140 yards on the walk. You could see as he was walking, I was holding kind of for the neck like right here to try and compensate for that walk. And we held perfectly 
but we just barely got any penetration. I mean, that's only 140 yards, not even 150 yards. And you're talking, it just barely touched the lung at 140 yards on a gray fox. Can you imagine what it's going to do on a coyote? It's probably not going to do much because that shot there should have went clear through and got a double lung shot and came out the other side, especially if you're using polymer tips, but smoked them. Definitely. Oh, did you guys just hear that? That's a gobbler. We just got a call from a gobbler right in front of us. And guess what? I do believe we have the turkey caller. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now, it'd be really cool if there was an open field out here so we could see. What is that? What is that? Oh my God, it's a bear. Oh, that's awesome. We got a black bear just sitting out here feeding. So if he's out here, that means that gobbler should be out here too. All right, let's try and ease our way over to the edge of this field here and see if we can't find this big gobbler. Jackpot, guys. We found our gobbler out there. He's out there 250 yards, so he's quite a ways out there. I don't actually know if he's going to come into the call from that distance, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. For the meantime, though, I think we'll definitely try and take a shot on this bear. He's about 100 yards out, so if we get... Hold up, there's two gobblers, there's two gobblers. There's one right on top of us here. We're gonna tuck in here and put out some calls and see if we can't get this gobbler to come in, guys. This gobbler is not very far away. Is that a rabbit out there? Got a rabbit out there too, look at that. But this gobbler's gotta be up in here somewhere. He's gotta be like right back in there. All right, let's slide over a little bit, put out some calls and see if we can't get this thing to come in. The key is what we wanna do is be roughly about 15 yards away that way when we call he comes right to our call and not to us i like to call once and then i'll slide over a little bit more and kind of hit a couple of calls right in a row to get him interested in coming in and i'll wait a little bit back up just a hair and then call a couple more times all right that should do the trick now let's slide back over here and get some cover well we've been waiting for quite a while <sighs> of course just when I say that <sighs> he's gonna call and he's coming right in I was going to say, I don't think he's coming in. And then all of a sudden we're getting a warning call right from this gobbler right in front of us here. So I guess uh, change the plan. So we're going to keep on calling and try and get him to come a little bit closer. What I was about to do is bust out the 17 or not the 17, the 22 Hornet and take down that gobbler at about 250. That's what I was about to do. But now that we got this guy coming in here, I still don't see him though. Of course, the wind has to be blowing directly at that gobbler, doesn't it now? Well, not much we can really do. Oh, right there, right there. Oh my God, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. He's actually about like 50 yards out right there. I think we might go for this shot, guys. There he is. We got him. We got him, guys. Heck yeah. All right, let's go pick him up. He didn't go very far. We took the shot right there at about 45, and he piled up right next to us here. Our first gobbler down with a 20 gauge, and he actually was a max weight gobbler. Hit him 22 times at 60 yards out, a 4.4 gold. A very nice color on him as well. Now we still have this gobbler out here. He's about 200 yards and we're gonna go for a shot with the 22 Hornet here. 
I'll zero in for 160, and I want to try and hit this thing perfectly. Did we get it? Did we get it? Headshot, baby! Headshot! <laughs> oh, man. I'm impressed with that. So we didn't really have a ton of drop. I held on top of the head for about like a three, four inch drop. And that's pretty much what we got because he went straight down. Man, I am very impressed with that shot. All right, let's go see how we did with this 22 Hornet. And I'm gonna say he was probably, uh, probably like 205 yards away, maybe something like that. I don't think he was really any closer. Here he is laying right here. Yeah, he didn't go anywhere. Just straight down, straight down. Yep. Uh, that's actually not a vital hit though. Not that it matters. What the heck did we hit? Oh, what a shot. Upper neck and middle neck. I don't know why it says not a vital hit because it was definitely a vital hit. 221 yards straight to the neck. What an epic shot right there. And he was a nice size one. And a brown as well. So usually we're getting bronze, but this is a brown. That is awesome. And because that shot was so cool, I think we should mount him. <laughs> I think we should definitely mount him. 221 yards and a 4.3 gold gobbler. We got a feral pig out there at about 300 and he's just sitting out there. Oh, you know what I want to try and do? Well, we already know that the uh, 22 Hornet is pretty much garbage for penetration wise at long distance, but I kind of want to show you what it does on the hog. So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's try and get to about 150 yards and then I want to try and go for a nice lung shot on this feral pig. You know, on second thought, you only live once. <laughs> so we're just going to dust him with a 303. Wow. Made a pretty incredible shot though. He went straight down at about 250 yards out. Yeah, I really didn't feel like sneaking in all the way to 150 yards, then taking a shot, and then getting a flesh hit, and then tracking him down, spending another hour trying to get another shot into him, tracking him down. No, we're, we're not doing that. Alrighty, here he lays right over here. Let's pick him up, and... <laughs> uh, apparently... We already attempted to shoot at this one with a 22, but, uh, well, <laughs> the second shot we just took with the 303 and made a perfect lung heart shot at 250 yards. There they go. There they go. All right. First quail is hit. Another one. I think we got that one as well. That sucker was quite a ways out there though. We'll have to go over there and go check. All right, we got one down right here. This is going to be our first quail on the Mississippi map. It's going to be a female, and we hit it two times at 34 yards out, 193 silver. All right, I think we found some more quail. They should be right up over here. There they go. First shot might have gotten him, but the second shot definitely did get him. All right, I found our quail down right here. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's a cool looking quail, a red brown. And it's a male as well. It took him at 45 yards out. Very cool looking quail. And we're going to call from a raccoon. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So hopefully he's a nice male. We got a female already. Oh, it is a male. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now we just got to try and get eyes on him. Um, I have the raccoon collar. I think. Do I have it? Did I bring it? All right. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Holy! What just came out right in front of us, guys? A nice boar. I'm not going to pass up this opportunity. Oh, my. 
my god, we drilled him. <gasps> what a shot. Oh, we got more. We got more coming in. I'm wondering if that pig was coming into the raccoon collar or what? That was perfect. We never even had time to uh, get a range on him. I just held for about 40, 50, and he was walking, so I had to compensate for that lead, and it must have been just right because we dropped him. Where the heck is this raccoon, though? Oh, look at that. A quail. Not the raccoon, but that's still pretty cool. Oh, here comes the pigs. We got one crossing right here. I would really like to find that raccoon, though. Oh, you think so, huh? You really think so? Well, you're gonna run away from me, huh? That's not cool. Oh my god, we got him. You gotta be kidding me, guys. We got that pig. <laughs> He's got a tracer sticking out of him. Oh, there's a quail, too. Tell you what. I think we might just try and snipe this quail. Look at, look at. There's the pig. There's the pig. I'm trying to spot it, but... Quail has dusted. But the pig was right behind that quail. And I saw a red tracer sticking out of it. I don't know where that raccoon went, but... We'll have to figure that out in a second here. <laughs> I can't believe we hit that thing. I want to check for hunting pressure. Oh my god, we got hunting pressure. We got him, guys. <laughs> we got him. First off, let's take a look at this. It's a dark brown 72.9, and we double lunged him on the trot at 55 yards out. What an awesome shot there as he was quartering away with the bow. Cool looking wild hog. Here's our quail down right here. Nice neck shot with a 22 Hornet right in the back of the neck. This thing's pretty accurate. I'll give it that. It's really accurate. It just needs a little bit more penetration. 0% and I think he's laying right there. Yeah, he definitely is. How in the heck did we pull off that shot? He was about 87 yards on the walk through the brush and we just let one fly and we got him. 106 yards away and it's a male black spot. Such a cool pig too. He's not that big. But he's a very, very cool looking pig. What a crazy shot. Oh my God. That's actually a pretty incredible shot with the bow. 106 yards right in the back of the neck. Man, if we were about two inches lower, that thing would have dropped right there. I will definitely take that shot. All right. Well, I got his track right here at least. Now keep an eye out for this rad. There he is. It's a uh, level three. It's a decent sized one, but not quite as big as I thought. Got a little bit too excited there, guys. Sorry about that. Anyways. That was a lucky raccoon. He spun right at the last second. We still got in there and got vital somehow. I don't know what we hit, but I tried to catch him in the brain. And I think as he spun... Somehow we got non-vital, I believe, because he didn't go very far. Did we get vertebrae? I wonder if we got vertebrae on that, to be honest. Let's find out. He didn't go very far, and that's kind of odd because there was no vital blood on the ground. But we ended up getting a right lung shot at 62 yards and a 7.9 gray raccoon. So not quite big enough for a goal, but a pretty good shot considering, I mean, we didn't get brain, but we definitely got something solid. All right, so right there, prime example, we just kicked up a couple of quail. And I can't see them. We're getting a call from some more quail over here, but this could be just like a random loner. We don't even know for sure. We could be going all the way over here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. I don't think we even got it. Well, we definitely got it that time. Woo. And that was like a point blank shot. 20 yards probably. 15 yard shot 
It'll be intestine, tibia, and all over the place, but that's a brown female, 187. We need to get at least 217 and up to be gold, but look at how beautiful that quail looks right there. Wow. I've been waiting for this rain to stop for the past 15 minutes now, and it's still absolutely downpouring. So we're not going to wait any longer. But what I want to tell you is I found two beautiful white tail bucks out here. There's a giant buck right there at 300. And then there's another really good buck behind that doe right there. And of course, now that I start talking, it's going to stop raining. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anyways, there's the buck I'm telling you about right there. 315 yards out. But we're going to go for this one first here because that one is kind of behind that tree. And I feel like after we take this shot, this guy should turn broadside and give us an opportunity for a shot. All right, here we go. 330 yards. What a beautiful shot we just made right there. And there goes the other big buck. Where is he going to go? We got him, baby! Doubled up! Whoo! Two beautiful bucks. All right, here we go. This is going to be our first buck laying right here. I do believe we probably heart shot him. He was kind of facing directly at us, so we had a tough angle. But I think we made a good shot there. And yeah, straight to the heart. A 213 gold heart and left lung shot at 330 yards. Perfect shot there and a beautiful white tail down. And then our second buck was running over here. We took the shot right here, and that is actually a vital hit. So that means we should have gotten either liver or a lung shot. But here he is laying right over here. Let's have a look at our big buck. And that's going to be a 215 gold, and we did get him the liver, guys. I knew we were a little bit far back, but I didn't have a ton of time to be able to hold far in front of him for that lead. But still, made a pretty good shot and got liver and stomach at 370 yards and another giant whitetail buck down. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.